got a demo tape I want you to see. I don't want to see it. I'm busy. Come on, look. It'll just take a minute. What? What is this? Where did you get this? I found it in the studio pile. Well, throw it back and get busy. We got a deadline. Give it a chance. It's creative work. This is no time to get creative. We got a show to produce. What do you think? I don't know. Bookman. Bookman! It has come to my attention from the new board of directors oh, that uh, you haven't produced anything <laughs> profitable <laughs> since uh, Mother Eskless from Mars back in uh, 1968. Oh. Oh. I got this sure thing now. I'll bet anything that this is the one that's really gonna do it. You can bet on this. If your Hollywood's greatest effects television special doesn't get higher ratings than our competition's uh, Dr. Magic show, you are yes. out, Bookman. Out. Get it? That's a sure thing. Don't worry, CC. It's going to be big. We're getting names. Name effects no. people. No. Name no. actors. No. Name stars. No. That's no. 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 Harvey, will you look at the rest of this? Don't talk to me about unknowns. I need stars! <laughs> Hello, Dr. Magic? Is this Mike Jetlove? Aren't you with the Dr. Magic show? Uh, no, no, this is Lucky Straker over at the Hollywood studio. Yeah, I'm uh, directing a TV spectacular on film effects, and, well, I just saw some of your work. You did? Yeah, and I'd like to see what else you've done. Be sure and bring your demo reel. You've got one, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, see you then. Oh! Hey, good buddy. Drop something. Hey, what are you doing? What do you think you are? Yay! Oh, I care about the street. I don't want it. I don't want it. I was fooling my left. I want it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Studios and movie agents sign your name, sign your soul. 
hold and add you to their cast of thousands Hoping for that starting point Is it worth the pain and strife to sacrifice your private life? Risk your friends and true love dream for minutes on a silver screen That's the Hollywood scene, oh I beat you here. I'm your cheerleader, remember? What? <laughs> this morning in the car. I gave you the clap. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Hi. Hello. <laughs> floor 12. What's your name? Studio oh. casting. Oh, oh, excuse me. This is my floor. I've got to get off. Excuse me. That's so great that it's blonde. Cindy. Don't talk to me. You're a competition. Oh no, it's a cattle call. May I help you? Hollywood Studios, please hold. Hollywood Studios, please hold. Hollywood Studios, may I help you? Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios, please hold. May I help you? Yes, I have an appointment with Mr. Straker. Thank you. All right! He's here. Who's here? The guy that made this. Uh -huh. Who just might be shooting special effects for our competition. Hey, what time is it? I'm late! <laughs> That guy's got to be on some real heavy stuff. <laughs> I want to freeze that frame. Oh, what? That's him. Oh, no, no, fix that tape, will you? Sir, I am not a repair person. Good to see you. How you doing? Hello, thank you, but I don't shake hands. What? Uh, do you rub ours or something? Oh, uh, that's a private thing. Excuse me, is that one of my videotapes back Wait there? a minute, weren't you the reporter? You're an actor. Uh, yeah, when I have to be, I do, I do a lot of things. Yeah, well, casting's downstairs on the 12th floor. I want to talk to the guy who did your effects. Fine, here I am, and I brought a whole reel of effects. Don't bring a whole reel of effects in here just because you want a job as an actor. Harvey, he did the effects. Come on, he, he probably did everything himself. I'm a filmmaker. I make films. Come on. One little look isn't gonna hurt. Give the guy a break. Uh, Mr. Straker? Just call me Lucky. Lucky, I think I'd better go there and help him. No, Mike, this films. is the union shop. Now, come on, sit down. Oh, yeah, that's right. Relax, will you? Where'd you learn to do effects? In film school? Uh, not exactly. I was a math language major at UCLA, and I switched to animation and taught myself the rest. Ever do anything professional? Yeah, I I've got something right here. Roll hey. the film! Satisfied? Uh, maybe we could let him do a few title intros. Oh! 
What do you mean, no? No! Mike, you can't go in there! Who do you think you are turning down a job? Don't pull that! No! This is a class show. Hollywood's greatest effects. No, don't cut it! So, Mr. Big Shot, you don't want to do titles. What the hell do you want to do? What do I want to do? I'll show you what I want to do. I want to do this. What is this? A cartoon? No, it's a live-action feature film with a real story. A real story? With real people? Yes, and special effects that mean something. They aren't just frosting on the cake. You can't make features. You can't even shake hands. You gotta crawl before you can leap. Harvey, you're the only one that can leap from a crawl. I'll bet you couldn't even make a real movie with bedroom scenes, chase scenes, crowd scenes, music. You gotta have wide shots, two shots, medium shots, close-ups, ECUs, over the shoulders, sync sound. You're just an effects man. Machine wants me to fix his type. He wants me to kiss. Look at this. He just brings it in. No agent. Doesn't go through channels. Just brings in the damn script. Oh, hi. Have you been waiting long? <laughs> Who does he think he is trying to make a feature? He's nobody. Oh, well, I'd like about a hundred rolls of splice tape. My latest multi-picture production. Another studio screening? Yeah, but this time, Brian, I gave him the script. You mean the one I spent two weeks budgeting? It's at Hollywood Studios on the executive floor. Is someone reading it? Uh, yeah, they said they're gonna call me. Who's gonna call you? Well, uh, a director, maybe a producer, too. But what are they like? Well... I, I, I just bought these cameras. <laughs> I need some film. Harold, you're such a class. <laughs> what type, color or black and white? What's the difference? <gasps> Color's prettier. Oh, well, make it color, then. <laughs> so long it, it's my first job i'm kind of nervous <laughs> they're paying me a lot of money <laughs> could, could you hurry it up I, i'm in a rush <laughs> all those ladies out there are waiting for me <laughs> michael get me out of here I already took care of it, Mom. And we have to pay the taxes. Oh, I paid them all. We're safe now. You got the job today? Yeah, almost. I sold my car. Your wonderful car? Mm -hmm. Sold my property to pay property taxes. But I can make a new car. I could even buy one. I'm getting an effects job soon. But our whole house is a special effect. Everywhere I look, there are special effects. Effects in the cupboards. Effects in the dishes. Be careful, Mom. The toys are loose. Yes. Everywhere. Don't worry. I'll round them up. Dora Belair with the Dr. Magic Pilot. We moved the deadline for bid submission, so if you want me to see your effects reel, you'd better get it in today, okay? Egad! Ten seconds of my whole world goes crazy! Oh I had two weeks of work left, and they moved everything up. It would have been perfect, a perfect demonstration reel. Now all I can show them is a work print. Oh, Gad, what a way to make a living! No, honey, I don't want you doing that. Well, okay, as long as the other kids are. No, Mama gave you a hundred last week. Uh, I'll call you later. Bye. Who are you? Mike Jitlove. Hello. Dora Bell, our assistant producer. I, I don't shake hands. Thank you, though. Why not? Oh, uh, it's kind of a long story, really. Look, here's a list of the visuals. Send us a bit on what you can do and put your reel in that pile, okay? Um, I'm supposed to show this to the producer. Oh, that's film. Don't you have a tape? It's such a pain to reserve a projector. Well, that's why I brought one. I know all these visuals and I can show them to your producer right now. Look, I see everything first. It'd only take five minutes. <sighs> all right, set it up. Good. Now, in the comic stories, Dr. Magic lives in this strange old house. We're not using any comic book junk. 
I hired professional writers. They're redoing it all. But it's been published for 20 years. It's one of the best written magazines. Excuse me, that actor, isn't that you? Uh, yeah, it is. I just used my own costume. Why are you acting in this? <laughs> because I'm always available and I'm very affordable. Why isn't there sound? <laughs> because I'm not doing the sound. Who directed all this? Well, I did. Just to show you your producer. I made this whole film. Okay, shut it off. There's still two more minutes. Look, what do you want from me? I want to show this to the producer. You're in the director's union. Oh, no, I'm freelance. You're not with any union? Yeah, the United States. Look, get out of my office. Yes, I have to join a dozen unions to do this. Well, then you would better join them. We are Union Guild signatory, and I don't handle anybody unless they are professionally gilded. I think you mean gilded. Look, you work with me, I expect a pro. You don't even shake hands, you ought to see a shrink. Miss Belair, if you feel compelled to grab part of my body and shake it before you can even be friendly, you've got far worse problems than you think I have. You had better forget about working at any studio until you get a professional attitude. There goes two months of work, the rest of my savings, and here comes the headache. Dora? What? What are you doing back? Last night in the office when everyone left. Giddy up! Master, come on! Giddy up! How did you know about that? It's a special effect. Then you had better join them. Join them. Join them. Join them. Hi. Can I help you? Yes, how do I join the director's union? You'll have to be in a copy of the deal memo by your studio producer before you can pay your initiation fee and be cleared by union counsel. Thank you. Uh, excuse me, what is the initiation fee? $7,000 with a $100 application fee, $200 every quarter, and 10% of your salary. Uh, $7,000, what is that for? That's the amount you pay to get into our union. Uh, what is it, like Social Security? I get it back when I retire? Absolutely not! What is your classification? Uh, well, I'm directing special effects with a small crew. Well, then you must have an assistant director, a second AD, and a UPM, all signed with a DUA. All I'm directing is animation? Well, then discuss that with the end. Animators Union. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, what's your animation classification, huh? Well, well, a lot of everything. Cartoon, kinestasis, rotoscope, and stop motion. Whoa! Well, cartoon animation alone is $2,100 plus a $50 entry fee and a $100 quarterly due. Well, what about filming animation? Yeah, yeah. Well, then you go to the camera union. Okay. No, sir. The studio hires the next man on the roster. Well, how do I get on the roster? You have to be in the union. Well, how do I get in the union? When you're on the roster. You mean I can't join unless I'm already a member? That's correct. Then you need 30 consecutive days camera operation, a complete physical exam, the producer sends a letter, and you pay your fees. Well, fine. I've done 10 years of camera work. Then you've worked in violation of seniority. You'll have to start all over as a film voter. Look, I'm just building a small set and filming it. That's entirely another union. Set and model makers. Next door. Well, it's only a dozen little animated lights. No, 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 you can't move them. Gotta join the Grippers Guild. I have to be an apprentice first? For three consecutive years, but you can't be over 25 years old. This is simple back projection. Go see union projectionist. But it's just projected to a painted mat. Then also join the Painters Guild. Get his number. He doesn't have a number. Then give him a number and take it away. This is insane. That is the system. This is unique. Hello. I'm home. What a wonderful day for the creative spirit. Sorry, Mom. Dad. All the big things I should have done by now, if I wasn't so busy doing little things. I wonder how many other people are out there, writing stories and scripts that nobody else may ever read, making movies that nobody may ever see, discovering secrets, important things that could help everybody. Maybe I shouldn't make films for a living. I've got a bicycle. I could deliver Steve's pizzas. Oh, if only I could do that for real. If we could live on hopes and wishes. Make movies with the speed of thought. 
all the films that could have been and all the dreams that I could spin. What is it? What is it? Harvey, I gotta talk to you about using Jet Love. How you call I me in the middle of the night to tell me I, I gotta you hire a total you unknown? Doping. You Are you crazy? Me? Well, if you don't hire him, Dr. Magic will. So what? what? You will you stop bugging me? Do I don't care. Me. You're gonna care, buddy, when you get clobbered in the ratings. What are you talking about? I bet they haven't even hired him yet. Then let's get him first. Let's use his work in our show. I need names. That unknown's gonna make a difference? I bet he couldn't even turn out anything we could use. Oh, man, you got yourself a bet. Oh, yeah? What do you want to bet? A thousand? Five thousand? Oh, Harvey, don't be a piker. I'll bet you my salary for the entire show. Twenty-five thousand bucks. Twenty-five thousand bucks. What's that? What did you say? Twenty-five thousand dollars? Uh, I wish I had some in my bank. You got it. you're snoring you know i can't sleep when you're snoring oh okay well sorry was... huh? hang on hang on don't hang up i'm coming i'm coming i got it i got it i'm here hello mike i read your script and i'd like to see you here at 11 o'clock in the morning Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Great. See you then. Yeah! Oh, they called! The studio finally called me back! Whoa! The executive floor. Good. And you Morning, thought I was kidding. Studio. I'll believe you when we get past the receptionist Morning, and security studio. doors. Good morning. Oh, good morning. They're expecting you. Why don't you go in? Good morning, Hollywood Studios. I kind of feel at home already. Do you think the producer will give us an office here? Oh, uh, well... How about a private secretary? Uh, I think you better ask the director. He's okay, but this producer's got a bad temper. I mean, this guy's a tyrant. Come on in. Hiya, Mike. Who's your friend? Hi, uh, Brian Lucas. I'm his business manager. How do you do? Glad to meet you. Care for a drink? Mary Lou, a couple of perriers for the boys, and hold all my calls, would you, dear? Thank you. You're welcome. Lucas, eh? No relation. No relation. Hmm. Mike, do you know what you need to make this? Yeah, Brian's figured out a complete budget breakdown. I also have some storyboards and locations. What you need first is for your work to be seen by people, studios, producers, and Hollywood's greatest effects. We're doing a TV special using footage from the biggest effects movies ever made. We're going to spotlight the real wizards of Hollywood, the ones who actually give our films their magic. And Mike, we want you to act as one of the wizards. What? And, and direct your own effect sequence. What kind of sequence? Oh, something different. Something that's never been done before. What's the hardest kind of special effect? Uh, stop motion with pixelation. That's it. That's exactly what I want. What, stop motion dinosaurs? No, big. I want it full size. Lights, camera, action. You're a filmmaker. I want to see an entire film studio come well... to life. Music, marching tripods. Hundreds of film cans. I want a whirlwind of creative energy. Harvey, you were right. Uh, I was wrong. They can do it. He's brilliant. This is terrific. Thanks a million, guys. You got three weeks. Go do it. Do what? I don't know. How much are they paying us? For how long? I don't know. What are you trying to pull? You know they can't do those kind of effects. That's a cheap way to win $25,000 if you ask me. Excuse me, what's our budget on this? Oh, Brian. Oh, don't worry it. about the money. That's a very minor thing. I'll call the studio controller. We'll inquisition all the invoices, and we'll get back to you. So long. Do it. We're filming 35 millimeter with motion control, computer animation, laser opticals. Brian, those effects started two to four thousand dollars a second. They're giving us the money. Not enough to do it in three weeks. They make special effects commercials in a day or two. Yeah, with three months of planning, scripts, storyboards, sets and props, and movie stars, and the music's already done. Excuse me. Well, let's get Steve. He can make music with anything. Hollywood Studios? No, I try to write for them. They don't accept independent music. Oh, wait a minute. I, I got a special music before I can even do the animation. Well, can you sing? 
Uh, I don't know. I can whistle pretty good. Why? I've got an idea. What? If you're singing, your lips are moving. And that'll be too hard to take out in the end. You mean lip sync pixelation? Sure. What's your budget? I don't know. Uh, Brian's working it out. Well, need some advance money. Studio time, two inch tape, quarter inch tape, microphones. Mike, I got the deal all straightened out. I talked with Stryker. Now, the only thing is, they won't give us any advance money, and they can't sign a contract with us because we're not in the union. But as soon as we're done filming, they'll buy it back from us with a standard stock footage requisition form, they fill out the invoices, and we get all the money back. Hey, only ten bucks? Ten bucks? Uh, I'm sorry, why is this mark so low? Sevens all look like ones. Seventy? Mike, why don't you go inside and think about what we're going to film? I'll take care of the sales, okay? Yes, Brian. Uh, how about 50? 20? You can't charge 70 for that thing. For you? 75. What? Oh, come on now. Okay, here we go. Get your ancient comic books. Cover prize. How much are they paying us? $5,000. Brian, that won't even cover equipment rental. They're giving us free studio space, professional lighting. Well, what about a crew? We'll do it ourselves and save money. You're the only actor, and you're free too. Oh, yeah. All we need is a script and some music. Come on, think of something to film. Hi, it's tape recorder. <laughs> it's Mr. Speed. Say what? Oh, I'm a singing wizard in the TV show. You mean a special effects show? Yeah. We're both acting in it. Maybe really? we'll see you. Uh, you know, I don't even know your name. Um, my name's Mike. Mike. Could you use some apprentice wizards? I could throw some sparkles and stuff. And I used to do magic. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but if you like to help out behind the scenes, I think oh, I could Behind find... the scenes? Hmm, if I can't have it up front, I don't want it at all. What kind of work is it? Well, it takes a lot of patience. You have to be gentle and precise. I could teach you the basic moves, but you'd be up all night. It's a lot of hard work. Come oh, on, honey, I've heard a lot of lines. Oh, no, it's all right. I... Let's go, girl. I'll, I'll explain ask... all about Cindy, it. Cindy, wait. Catch. Oh. Come on. Bye, Mike. Have a good time. See you around, Speedy. Goodbye. I don't know what you see in him. I like him. Girl, he's a special effects man. He's the same color as money. <laughs> There's a wizard of speed and time stepping out by the Hollywood sign to sing the joy and love he's found and bring it all to movie town. Not available. A hundred bucks for Star Jaws. I'm giving them free TV exposure and they want money? Forget it. Who do they think they're dealing with? Maybe I can use my outtakes. Buckman. Yeah, how you doing? Well, we're in pre-production now and we have to see the soundstage you're letting us use. Uh, uh, look, uh, it's a very busy studio. Everything's booked up. Uh, tell you what, why don't you try the yellow pages? Check out the other stages around, find something you like, and we'll get a P.O. from McTavish in accounting. How's that? Good. Okay, babe. Go to it. Yeah, see you later.
Listen, if he calls me a striker again, tell him we're out. Tell him anything. And the same goes for his friend Lucas. Yes, sir, Mr. Bookman, sir. Anything you say, sir. Mr. Bookman's office. Mr. George Lucas returning his call. Oh, I I'm terribly sorry, but Mr. Bookman's on hiatus. Yes. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Now what? Well, let's try it. Filming on a real soundstage. This could be our doorway into the system. Yeah, it's a soundstage, all right. What's the rate? It's 4,000 plus 400 for electricity. $4,400? And all we get is a week? No, that's per day. And of course, that doesn't include the required studio chief electrician, two assistant electricians, a maintenance engineer, set design coordinator, and um, this is our economy stage. As you can see, it's centrally located to all major bus and train stations. And Burbank Airport. It's a 79 feet by 133 feet, $750 to prep and strike, $1,500 per shooting day, plus 40 an hour for AC power. Now there's a combination restroom and makeup room down the hall and out the exit. And parking is $20 a day around the corner and down the hill. on the phone for you. Oh, oh, Say, babe. You got the memo. We can use the footage, right? Well, I'll think about it after you get Mike Jitlava's soundstage. What? What are you trying to do? Give me a stroke. Mr. Bookman, I've tried calling you 24 times. Look, I can't help you. All our lighting's tied up on uh, priority scheduling. All of them? But we only need a few lights. And a dozen C-stands and tripods. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, the uh, union uh, is thinking about a strike, and the uh, studio's trying to beat what the deadline. Strike? But hey, Mr. Bookman, I want to tell you how impressed I am with your ingenuity, oh, you. and I know you're going to be able no, to work Bookman, it out. No, okay, babe? Look, okay, thank you. Bye. Look, I wait. Act. Sign here. Do you guys need a toy? Okay, guys, get the hand with it. Be careful now. Here we go. Michael, you had a call from Mr. Straker. He's getting all the film cans for you. Great, Mom. I told you, Brian, everything's working. Careful, Mike. It's heavy. It'll work. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it'll work if we don't get triple hernias first. They only gave me one pass. Well, then you get the invoice over to McTavish, and I'll get the cans ready. Then how are you getting in? Sideways. Yeah, well, it just might be worth it. Hey, look at this. They didn't give me arms. Well, I feel like a giant green banana. What are you guys complaining about? I'm supposed to be a meteor and I look like a meatball. I thought you were a raisin. Hey, hey, hey. How do I look, huh? Oh, what are you, a space bug? <laughs> What's this? You said you wanted meteors. These are the rockets. I didn't say rockets. And I didn't say rockets. I said rockets. Rockets. Linda, take them for a costume change. Rockets, you know? Yeah. Lucky, is this show about effects technicians? Oh, yeah. Nice asteroid. Oh, oh. Uh, everybody take a break. Oh, your film cans are over there. Oh, that's uh, great. Mike, you can't just carry them out the door. Lucky, it's easy. Not Mike. I tried to help. I've got your cans together, but they can't be moved. What, they're stuck to the ground or something? No, to the system. 
Look, I'll get Brian up here. The pretty light will take him right out. You can't, Mike. It's a union job. They have to be loaded onto a union truck. Then let's get a union trucker to load a hundred empty film cans into an 18-wheeler and take them out to my garage. You can't do that, Mike. When he delivers to your non-union garage, he'll report it. And the union board will call a strike. Mr. I Trucker. know what you're going to say. But can you imagine what it's like to direct this insanity? Everything's changed. I can't get any film footage. Of Not like that. Scripts being written every hour like this. I will. Nobody tells my dancers what to do. Take a cab. This is the most unprofessional job I've ever had. What is this? Why? Nobody knows where they're going or what they're doing, of course, except for me. Rewritten every minute. What about our film? Is it still going to be in the show? When are you people going to learn the routines? Mike, I'm betting on you. Don't let me down. All right, everybody from the top. Excuse me, Mr. McTavish. I came to get our PO number. Is that an acquisition? Yes. Did you fill out the yellow and white forms? Yes. Well, put it in that top of it. Well, then how long till we get our check? Well, we have to see if it falls within the fiscal production year. But we need it right away. Everybody needs it right away. Always in a hurry. You should be getting a check no later than the second quarter of the following even-numbered month, providing that the accounts receivable are all paid up and the accounts payable are all received. Now, go away. I've got too much work to do to spend it in frivolous conversation. Now I know what P.O. stands for. Now what happened to that nickel? Ah. Wow, look at him. It's film can heaven. Mike, I don't think we should be doing this. Why not? They're throwing him away. It's a union alley. All well, right, we can't do this without 10 years of college, 40 years of apprenticeship, $80,000 of fees and dues. What do we say if they catch us? We're recycling! <laughs> You know, this is a lot more work than I thought. Come on, be optimistic. We're going to be on nationwide television. Right, up against 35 millimeter special effects that cost $200,000 a minute. I'll never notice. It's a small screen. And filming in a garage. If they ever find out... It's a nice garage. It's traditional filmmaking. But these studio lights are going to blow out every fuse in your home. Not since the city put their power lines under our garden. What if the city finds out? Don't worry, how could they possibly find out? This is a job for... Green Power. How about a production shot? Yeah! And now, for Hollywood. I am the wizard. I... Got it. We're off! Only 1,600... 20 frames more and we got it made. And this is how movies should be made. No studio hassles, everything's ready. Just get together and film. I mean, who needs a soundstage? We're movie making by starlight. Perfect weather and a full moon. This is the night for special effects. There's magic in the air. Got it! You can take it! I took it! Okay! At least the bats and mosquitoes are gone! What? Nothing, no problem. Two days behind schedule, the store's been calling me. What about the lights? Oh, they were moving, Mike. Well, then it's even more animation. Why, well, union animators around the world will never know how we got all this movement. It's called a tornado. Wind, wind. The palm trees are falling. It could be worse. We could be trying to shoot in a rainstorm. Got it. Welcome to the Church of Cinematology! Got it! Bless you! I got a cold and I'm hungry and freezing. How can we ever get this done in time? And they asked me, can it be done? And I said, yes! Everybody, yes! I said you must have faith in the creative spirit because it is creativity that gets things created. Yes, Master Wizard. Oh, come on, Brian. This is animation history. It's Niagara Falls, Michael. I've been fired from my job, my car payments due, and all the film cans I polished are starting to rust. Now, it could be worse. We could be trying to shoot everything with sound. Oh, just great. Careful, Brian. 
What do we do now? I'm thinking. Stop thinking! Oh, wow! A really special effect. Come on! Let's get out of here! Okay, okay, let me get the costume on. Hurry! Glenn! Hey, why don't we film this? The camera! Everything I shot! I love a good storm! This is going to happen to me. Okay, now, between the drops! Go! This is not the way to make movies! Nick, it could be worse. We could be trying to film all this animation in the middle of an earthquake or something. Don't say that! We're calm weather! Perfectly calm! Quiet! Quiet! It worked! Yeah! What are you doing? Praying for reality. I think the rain's stopping. Look, I think we better get some real help if we're gonna get this finished and get our money back. Well, let's get Steve. Or how about my brother? We better get someone who's crazy enough to work 30-hour nights and have to animate a whole film set for free. Cindy! How do you know it was me? You got my calling card. What you doing? Oh, pumping iron. I, I saw you on the set last week, but I couldn't talk to you. You know, I'd love to hear all about your wizard film. Would you like to get together? We got power! I know this fantastic pizza place. You just love it. The pizza's fabulous. Yeah, we're still working on the wizard film, but a friend's bringing a pizza over here. And if you'd like to join us... Sure! Great! I'll be right over. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We can even watch you anime. No comment. Tina. Hey, hey. Here's pizza. One chef special with everything on it. Mm. Mm. Oh. Holy mackerel. Oh, my God. It's the house specialty. Do you have a plain one in the truck? Oh, you want what? cheese? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Lucky, Mr. Brookman. Hiya, Mike. We just dropped by to see how everything's going. Yeah, how you doing? Got any film yet? Yeah, I'll show you the work print. Come on in. It's all set. Doesn't he ever wear anything else? I've only seen him a couple of times. Every time we see him. What? what is it? Ow! What is it? What is this, some kind of a zoo? Hey, pizza, huh? Yeah. Did you bring enough for all of us? You like sushi? Is that your professional equipment? Relax, relax, will you? This man is dangerous. It's great. Okay, here we go, and I'll synchronize the music at the beat. Music? We can't use outside music. I am the wizard of speed and time. The world of film is where I shine. I've got magic to let you see just where you were and want to be. On imagination, silver screen. I can help you find your dream. Dream. All of my friends and dance to your wishes in the camera lens. Watch for the wizard in the robe of green, and I will help you find your dream, 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 dream. dream. His mouth is moving. He's singing. Wow. I can't take it out. I like it. <laughs> what do you think these guys are on when they made this, huh? Wizard of Speed, Mike. Where'd you shoot hey. this? <laughs> Lights, camera. And anguish. Okay, marching tripods. Ready, Brian? Ready. Frame one. Got it. Perfect. All right, next frame. That's it? I mean, what do you do now? Digitize or something? Careful, please! Cancel, start over. Mr. Bookman, you can't be on the set. Hey, you know I'm fine. Hey. How do you get it all moving around? Well, aside from Mr. Bookman's method, we use stop motion. For every second of movie film, there are 24 pictures, and we're making each of those pictures one at a time. Come on, who do you think you're trying to con? Where's all your special effects equipment and computers? Right over there. Digital rack focus and zoom, microcontrol pan and tilt, motion control dolly with a convenient carrying handle. The ultimate in low tech. Straker, you expect me to use this guy's garage home movie and put it on nationwide television? 
It's going to look professional. Walt Disney started in the garage. I'm wasting my time here. There are a bunch of amateurs. Wait a minute. That's it. Watch out. No. Look, 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 look out. Oh, no. 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 Those don't name filmmakers aren't gonna cost me a twenty-five thousand dollar bet. I'm sorry about the mess. Uh, it was kind of a good film. I, I really liked it. I am terribly It's okay. We filmed all the stop motion. Now I just have the star sparkles to do. No, no, the inside stuff is okay. Now you gotta go everywhere outside. What? You need locations. You gotta add some production right. Cars and trains, planes. What locations? We can't film outside without street permits. We'll get arrested. Nah, you won't trust me. I want to see some of that. One happy jit of magic. I want to see 20, 30 women. Girls everywhere in the sea. The deal was for one film sequence. So nine years, you two. And a double your money. But it's got to be in by Friday. Otherwise, I can't use anything. Double or nothing. You got it? Go do it. <laughs> Give me another double, double, bloody Mary, will you? Another film? Or we get nothing. God. How much money do we have left? How am I supposed to shoot a fun, heavy film when I have bought it back? We still have some film stock. I'll write the music and get another session together. But he wants 20 or 30 girls. Where do we find all the actresses? I could probably help you there. But what about street permits? Do you know how much they are now? We don't have time to get them. Where do we even shoot? I need a story, a million things. Get out, we gotta move. Come on. Yeah. Hey, man, do you want to buy a watch? Rings, anything you want, I got, man. What are you guys into? Commodities. How about this one? 24 carats, $24. Sure, eh? Small change. Listen, I, you guys like to make some real money. Like $500 each. Oh, no, like, man, like, we're just boosters. We're not into offing anyone. Guns are knives. No, no, you don't understand, man. Like, I'm a movie producer, see? Oh, he's a movie producer. Hey, you guys are really good-looking guys, you know? Ever do any acting? Oh, acting? Like, sure, yeah. like in a high school play, I yeah. was a goldfish in Thumbelina, eh? Oh, you mean like Redford, man? Yeah. Not for a couple of years. Well, listen, I just, well, why don't you come down to my studio? Let me get my business card. Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh, okay. Now, here, you take my card. Here, here's my card. Wally. Oh. And go down to the property department. You get your costumes, and I get oh, the costumes. scripts for you. Scripts. Scripts. Oh, yeah, right. All right. Okay, here's what you got to do. This is this guy in a green jacket. Green. And he's got these cameras, and he's green. rolling cameras. them all over town. I hate green. Rolling cameras, rolling cameras, rolling them all over town. Rolling cameras, rolling them all Shooting everything. I want you to do this, guy. You got to get one. This, uh, this guy Bookman sent us, eh? OK, OK. Hey, later. Must be here for the prison picture. Talk about Todd casting. Like, I think it's illegal, you know, to, like, impregnate an officer, eh? Not in the movies. Really? Yeah, gee, I never drove a stick shift before. This is automatic. Hey, well, how come it's not driving itself, eh? Where do you want to drive? Yatopia, Disneyland. Hey, like, how are we supposed to find this dude, anyway? Don't you know I'm physic, man? I got this unnatural instinct. I can find anything. But, like, we don't even have a police radio, eh? So I just happened to find this lying around movie land, eh? Far out. We're gonna find this guy in no time. Hey, Greg! Hi, big brother. 
Hey, Greg. Hi, Brian. Uh-oh, looks like another movie. It's movie history. Want to help? We got our camouflage net, canteen, compass, Swiss knife, snake bite kit, rubber rat radios. Well, were you guys bath. filming this, a combat zone? You're close. Scout to wizard, over. 10-4. Mike, you've got a permit in case the police stop us, right? Permit? What permit? Didn't you pack a permit? I knew we forgot something. It's a public park. Everybody takes pictures here. You mean we are filming without a permit? Don't worry. You can't even film on your own property without a permit. Greg, there's nobody around here. There could be a cop around the corner. Then keep filming. I'll put him in the movie. It's going to look perfect. Why are we filming here? Because this is where they shoot all the big fantasy features. Greg! Yeah, it's all clear. They dumped Star Trek here and Lost Horizon and Flash Gordon and Batman. Action! Yeah, but they all had permits. You know, I called the weather service. It's supposed to be sunny. It's just a little smog. It's a Hollywood tradition. But the lighting won't match up with your stock footage. Don't worry. The lab will fix it. Mike, Brian. Uh oh, I think we got another tradition coming! Attention you filmmakers down there! Do you have a permit? Maybe the camera store will bail me out. Stay by your vehicle, we are landing. Have your permits out where we can oh, see them. Yeah. Every time I help you film something! Number three, looks like we found the valley of the Jolly Green Giant. Ho, ho, ho! Let's get out of here before they fry our niblets! Back of the Jeep, quick, get off the camouflage! Hurry, over at the top! Quick, 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 quick! Come on, come on, come on! Gee whiz, they just disappeared! I can't see them anywhere! Hey, let's land on that big green plastic rock! Yeah. Maybe I can bleed insanity. All right, I got another plan! What? What? Run away! Run away! Run away! Attention, all ground units, filmmakers without permits! Oh, we got a mugging in progress! Forget it, boy. They don't have permits. What? Let's get them! Come through the picnic ground! Never mind, we see them. They're coming out of the ground zone. Oh, no, no, wait, they're going back in. Oh, they're coming out of here! Get on the road! Jeez Louise, what road? Watch out for the tree! What do we do now? We got a plan! Watch out for the skunks! Oh, no! Don't hit the skunks! They're letting away! Go right! I'm going right! Look out for the gates! Oh, no. Our authorized disturbance is here for the park, man in green suit, with cameras and crew. Hey, you do and you clean it up. That's it, my darling. You're dancing on clouds. Make believe special effects are everywhere. Now just keep on doing Mr. Bookman's step. Harvey! Where you been? CC's with a crack. Oh, my darlings, but nice get it. Time. Take five, take ten, take a trip to Cuba. <laughs> Kill off the hey, a little planet, not a dime. Look at this cheese, it's got holes in it. It was so interesting. Yeah, and how much is he paying? Well, I don't think Mike has much money, but it'd be fun to be in, and he really needs us. Well, I don't know. And where does he plan on filming all of this? So wait a minute, it... don't I know you from last night? You're working for Jitlove. Oh no, I was just helping him. You can't do outside work and still perform here. I'm gonna have to let you go. What? But you can't... I said you're fired. Conflict of interest, read your contract. Conflict? But he's doing it for your show. You're still fired. And that goes for the rest of you. If I catch anyone else moonlighting, you're off the show. You oh. turkey, I don't need this job job anyway. Come on, Cindy, let's get out of here. Boy, that was a low stunt. We'll be lucky if anybody stays on the show. Yeah, yeah, you can't leave me. Wait, we'll talk. We'll have that. I'm buying something. Hey. Mr. Bedford's on the phone. Hey, boss, we got the gringo. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Glasses, green jacket, we even got all these cameras, too. Yeah, great. <laughs> I told him that before you're an executive, you have to learn the business. Stop like I did. <laughs> I'm going to tell my uncle on you! No! So now he's out there taking publicity stills for this. Bookman, there you are. How is the show coming? Mr. DeSchwartz, Mr. DeSchwartz, the police just arrested Harold! Arrested Harold? They put him in handcuffs! Harold's in handcuffs! And they took him away! Oh, and that's from me! He's there for this! Oh! He's always in trouble! Trouble, trouble! What have I done for his life? He's got friends in high places! One day is all I ask! One day without trouble! He's got high friends every place! Shut up! You idiot! Get away from him! You got the wrong man! Oh, guys. 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 O
say without trouble, that's all. Don't I deserve such a thing? This man needs help. Okay, I'm passing out the standard release form. Uh, what do you use this for? It's simple. It turns out easy. Oh, I guess you don't have any trouble getting girls. Not with lines like that. Come on, I want to show you something. Hmm, probably his favorite toy. Is this your library? Actually... This is my room. And this is for you. Oh, thank you. No, I, we wanted to thank you for helping us last night. Would you? Oh, sure. You know, because of last night, I, I got fired. Oh, I'm sorry. No, what? no, I'm glad it happened. Cindy, why? Because I'd rather work with someone who cares about what he's doing. I've met so many superficial people, it's hard to tell who's real. Why are you smiling? Not too many people think I'm real. You're sensitive. Yeah, sometimes a little too much. Are movies the only way you can touch people? They're the safest way. There you are. Come on, we're ready to go. Excuse me, Sydney, I gotta get back to work. Good timing, Brian. Oh, great. Thank you, Brian. What a pal, Brian. That's showbiz. <laughs> Okay, let's make movies. Casting couch, huh? Tina. Actually, it was a bunk bed. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> Sound blimping with a $20 sleeping bag? Well, when we get the feature budget, we can use $100 bags. Everybody ready? Yeah! Did you know all three of them are still single? Really? They're special effects men. Oh, yeah. Uh, action! <laughs> License number, man. Now we're gonna lose our acting job. Oh, no. Why are we gonna do it? I still say there's something strange about 20 girls singing to an orange sleeping bag. Maybe it's a hooker's party. I don't care. It's our donut break. I don't know. Look, if they're still there later, we can bust them all for street walking, okay? Hey, we got the car tuned up, and that's all that matters. We could chase them in Miami. Huh? Where'd this come from? What up? Hey, hey, what's going on? It's a hunk of junk. I told you to take the keys out. I did take the keys out. All right. Nifty car, eh? Yeah, this is chart, man. Yeah. Hey. Do you live in werewolves? <laughs> you ever see my sister Rosita? She got a teeth on the front of Free pizza for everybody. Oh, wow. Great. What kind is it? The house specialty. <laughs> There's no way we are going back to the station, not like this. I'll be walking a beat on the L.A. River. 
We gotta find our car. Well, how are we gonna find it? Where are we gonna start looking? Right, look right, look left. Okay, go. Hey, hey, stop, hey. Eh? Hey, I'm a police officer. I am the law, hey. Eh? Okay, go ahead. Right, only the best man. Come on, man. Is there anything else I can help you guys with? What's next? Well, we do have some scenes now featuring an actress. Mike, catch! <laughs> <laughs> Running on the wall, Steve. Ready, Brian? Sure, I'm ready. Of course, I'm ready. Where's the lead? And moment? over here on your right. Why, look! It's a film crew! They're making a movie oh, right here in the heart of Hollywood. Okay, bring one! Got it! Oh, Got we're it. gonna pull over here for a few minutes, so everybody remember, they're trying to work, just don't get in the way, and who knows, you might be in the movies. Well, lady. You haven't paid your taxes for over two weeks! They're making a move! Got it! that thing! Get security to the east wall! That's more fancy! Maybe it's a poltergeist again! Hey, are you somebody? Are you a movie star? Hey, hey, stop the car, man! I'm feeling something fizzy! It's about a lizard! No, no, a lizard! He's a magician. Sir, will you please get out of the shot? It's a leaping wizard! Got it! People are sure into some weird things, eh? Hey, he's green! Got That's it! That's the gringo! That's the gringo! Right, we got the shot! Oh, no, this is awful. Thank you, everybody! The Hollywood Jumping Wall is now open! Don't you understand? This is the creation of the universe number. Now, I want... Freeze that. Right. Now, look. I want to see Big Bang all around the Rocket Girls. I want to see video explosions everywhere. I want to see little meteors shooting out into space. Space everywhere. Look. I don't do miracles. Harvey! Better take a look at these effect prices. Don't talk about prices. I need production value. This has got to be big time. I need you. Gee, gee. These are the prices. Space ain't cheap. Just do the best you can. Space everywhere. on the Dwarf Star. Put more sparkles in his teeth. At $600 a sparkle, we're already over budget. It's in the script, Harvey. The scene doesn't make sense without it. All right, one sparkle. That's all you get. Thank you. Put it in. Right.
down at the office and I'm waiting for your footage. I've got to have it right now. It's done. I just finished splicing it. Uh, Lucky, can you send a messenger over for it? Lucky? Mike. Hello, Lucky? I hate Murphy's Law. I sold my car, I sold my bike, I can't call a cab, and the buses are on strike. This thing's all I gotta go on, and it's never been road tested. But... Please work, please work. Okay? Ride this thing again, I'm gonna add on a few accessories like brakes. I think he's hungry again. We got any money left? I don't know, like truck. Hey, look! Now that's what I call a low rider. Hey, that's gotta be him. Let's go. Come on, man. Step on him. I get him. Come on, I'm in the speed limit. One out of twelve. One out of twelve. In pursuit of suspect. Headed west. Stop. Why need a suitcase without a permit? Twenty years in a battered zone. One out of twelve. Who is this? What's your location? Never mind. The ten-four coach is clear. Roger, Roger. Over and out. Coming through. Wild Dolly. Don't open the doors, please. Get me. Leave me alone. I see him. It's a red light. Oh no! The film! Way to go, way to go, man! I thought you were a physic, man. The film! The film! Stop the suitcase! Keep it out of the water! Somebody stop it! Our gosh, getting slower over here, man. How in the world are we ever gonna find these guys? I read a book once. Yeah? If you stay in one place long enough, the whole world passes you by. Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Hey, there he is! Where? There! <laughs> expect i come home from work dinner isn't ready he's got a headache doesn't want to make love yeah house is a mess yeah there goes our car our car our car there goes our car oh my god hey man pull it over to the side don't tell her to escape from the law uh oh don't look now I told you not to look. Holy holy, this is the real cops. They're going to break you. I'm going to run you. Don't scratch the paint. You're a girl. You're scaring the dog. No. I'm not. I'll kill you. There he is again. Smile. Smile for the camera. Cuts aren't hardy. Put it back. Put it back. Let me know. I'm going to Pull the car over. Watch out. Pull the damn car over. Oh, you think it's a squad car? 
Hey, buddy, you're going to go away for a long time. Oh. Then we try one with a little more feeling. Mr. Bookman, I've got the film. What's this? Here's the AD and Steve Originals, a fully mixed soundtrack, safe work front, and color timing instructions. It's all set. Wonderful. Excuse me, where's Lucky? Oh, well, he's uh, left. He had to leave, but I'm going to take care of everything. I got your check for you. Oh, good. Uh, what Thank have you, you been running? You look pretty hot. Yeah, uh, this is only for half the amount. Half? Yeah. Oh, what an oversight. I got to talk to McTavish in accounting about this right away. Excuse me, could I hold on to the film? Hey, don't worry. Back in a minute. Read a magazine. But you got to learn to trust people. I wouldn't be an executive if people didn't trust me. Good afternoon, Hollywood Studios. Please hold. Good evening, Hollywood Studios. Please hold. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still in the meeting. Good evening, Hollywood Studios. Thank you. Hollywood Studios. Excuse me, please. Where's Mr. Bookman? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but he's gone for the day. Oh, no. Hollywood Studios. Where can I reach him? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I can't give out that information. Hollywood Studios. Mr. Bookman has our check. No, I'm sorry. He's gone for the day. Hollywood Studios. No, I'm sorry. He's no longer with the studio. Hollywood Studios. No, I'm sorry. He's dead. Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Oh, no, Mr. DeSwartz. You see, the greatest effects rap party has been moved to Mr. Bookman's place. Yes, sir. Now, that's right up on Achilles Heel Drive. Good evening, Hollywood Studios. Where do you see our studio publicity? We even got the blimp. You sure know how to throw a party, Mr. Bookman. Yeah, well, we had a little money left over, so... Oh, my God! How did he get in Mr. here? Mr. Bookman, where's our $10,000? Chet Laugh, good to see you. Have a drink. Take it easy. Caviar, lobster, merry What would you like? The money you promised. Didn't you get the message? What message? From the accounting department. There's a 60-day delay on the check. No, it was cash on delivery. It's always 60 days. This is the big time. Yeah! Then your big time cannot have our work. Well, that's your decision. Excuse me, fella. I gotta uh, mingle with the guests. Didn't he pay you? Does he pay anybody? Excuse me. Mr. Bookman, wait a minute. Where's our film? I left it at the office. No, you didn't. You took it with you. Are you calling me a liar? Yeah. And I'm not leaving here until I get our check. You're making a scene. You took our work. Now pay us for it. Lower your voice. Give me our check or give me our film. Voice, cool him off. What? No! What happened? Someone fell in the pool. He just said. It's okay, folks. Keep playing, guys. The boss, I don't think he's coming up. What are you talking about? He's just lying down there, staring at you. Then go down and pull him out. Hey, I don't do water work. Don't look at me. I can't swim. What's swimming? It's 10 feet. Can you get him? He's your pool. Hey, Raleigh, do me a favor. Not a $300 silk suit, babe. He's just staring at you. Look, he's got to come up. We just wait, then you throw him out. Boss, he's not making any bubbles. You know what I mean? There's a rope and a ladder in the second garage. I mean, I've been waiting for Jetlock. Where is he? Hey, Lucky, how do you like the party? Pretty nice, huh? I called the office. I know he was there. Now, where's the film? What film? All he delivered were excuses. I don't believe that. Don't be a sore loser. Now, go finish editing the film. Bookman, who, who's that man at the bottom of your pool? Oh, Cece, don't worry about him. He's just a party crasher. i never seen a party crasher do that. What's going on here? Nothing. Now, get back to editing. We've got a deadline. Hey, Fox, we've got a ladder. Wait a minute. What's happening? That's Jetloff down there. What's he doing? He's playing games. Game about a check for a film. What? Hey, boss, what do we do with the ladder? Stick it down there and hook him or something. He brought you the film. You didn't pay him, and he came up here and demanded his money, and you threw him in the pool. Yeah. So what? So you lose the bet. What's this about a bet? Cece, it's nothing. He's just an effects man. You owe a special effects man. All right, sir. He's non-union. What do we do with the rope? Throw it in. Loop it around his neck. I know these people. They are special effects. It's floating. The rope won't go down. And he's not coming up until he gets paid. So how much do you owe him? We had a standard independent verbal agreement. How much do you owe him? $10,000. It's your fault. $10,000? What'd that buy? A match shot? No, CC. Original magic, sound, and visual. Then what's the hang up? Pay the man. Muriel, bring Harvey's checkbook. Straker! I got it already. $10,000. That's about what you owe in a week, isn't it? CC, I can explain this. I'm sure you will. 
but first you better hide a personal check. Here you go, Harvey, pay him. I don't want my fool haunted by someone in a green jacket. How am I even supposed to get it to him? Try! All right, take it. Get it! Here it is! Take it! Here, here, get it! Here, here's, here's your check. It, it, that was pretty good. How did you do that? With special effects? Find out! Rats! Bookman! If you hadn't married my daughter Muriel, you would have been out of this studio a long time ago. Is this what you earned my body for? Call the messenger. I want this video transferred immediately. Wild suitcase coming through. Excuse me. Yeah? Ah, oh, top of the evening to you. Where are you, man? Nine sheet delivery, wizard footage. Wow, I'm doing those transfers right now. Well, then you'd be needing the corrected print. The studio sent you elements by mistake. Oh, man, what a bummer. I wish they'd get their heads together, man. It's like I'm always having to work with incompetence, you dig? Ah, oh, me a leprechaun dancing your eggnog. Yeah, anytime, man. <laughs> Check bounced. It almost broke the plaster in the ceiling. Our money's gone. Our film's gone. All we have left is this little worthless piece of paper. What do we do now? I already did it. This better be good, Bookman. Don't worry, CC. This is imagination, movement, a shining tribute to Hollywood studios. Dynamic power and authority. It's you, sir. Shut up already. Let me watch this thing. Go, get it out. And to show you what we mean, here's our favorite Hollywood wizard at work. What is this? It's holiday with food. Toy kids? Yes, just look at all those turkeys. Mm -hmm. Just waiting to be stuffed and served up for your holiday cheer. No! Where is it? I don't know, man. Like a giant leprechaun or something, man. Leprechaun? Yeah, really. Nice talking with you, man. Gee. I'm right ever glad we found you guys. We gotta have the film right now. Film? What film? The show's gonna be satellite beamed in four hours. Oh, you mean the film we're getting ten thousand dollars for? Yeah. Oh, sure. Listen, you're the business manager, right? Guys have been through a lot of trouble. I want to make this real easy for you. Tell you what we do. Tell you what. Look, guys, this is very simple, okay? One, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Okay? Guys, great. Now, can we have the film? But what about all and that equipment that they promised us? And 20 girls at $30 a piece? And guys. the soundstage rental. And what the soundstage? You shot it on a garage. Uh, your show's budget was $21,000 a minute. Okay. $21,000 a minute. I'm going to give you another $2,000, and that's Here. it, guys. That is it for Plus sure. $2,000? Here. Take it. Cash. Cash? What do you mean, cash? You know, this stuff. It's green with little president's pictures on it. I don't carry that kind of money with me. They, they do. do. Harvey. But these guys... Uh, are... Harvey, it's 12, our job. $12. Here it is, $12,000 cash. It's all there. Trust me. One, One two... Three. Give me the four. film! Wait a minute, no, no. The film! Do something! Write this thing! Oh, wait, 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 I want to see every letter on the screen. Give space. me the film! No, type it up, please. Let me see it. Give me that! Very good. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's good. I like that. <laughs> you got a good show. Thanks, Chi Chi. <laughs> Lots of girls. Beautiful And girls. I love that green wizard character. That runs right down the street. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Bookman, yeah. I uh, was talking to Harold this morning. He finally remembered the license plate number. The license plate? The one that belonged to the studio car the studio that car. was requisitioned on the P.O. number that you signed. See, see, look, it's just a very <laughs> No explanation. It doesn't change a thing. You're out, Bookman. O-W-T. 
Ow! <laughs> nice show! Look, up in the sky! It's a whale! It's a billboard! It's a blimp! The blimp boss! It's okay, I guess. It's been done. But no one's ever done this! <laughs> Push the button, Brian! Yeah, master! <laughs> Whoa! musical tribute to the greatest effects movies of all time on Hollywood's greatest effects. Wow, my guess is cheaper than your effects. <laughs> billions and billions of years ago, our universe began with the first great special effect. Creation! Gotta have an innovation! Gotta make a consolation! Or two! We'll have pulsars! Red giants and dwarf stars! Bibles and quasars! A celestial slew! Creation! We interrupt this program for an important message from the president. No! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh. Everything's preempted! My oh. clock turned in a bathroom. Ah, yeah. fellow constituents, today's House and Senate meeting has some brand new rulings that I'd like to share with you. And you know, we Americans are spending more than ever on entertainment. So I am pleased to announce the new entertainment tax, along with the television tax, movie tax, game tax, dancing tax. Now, to make sure we get the best government that money can buy, Congress has passed a new 100% withholding of all wages and earnings. But at least 23% of that will be returned to you, the tax-paying citizen, minus, of course, state surcharges, subsidies, handling taxes, and dealer's prep. Keep your government going strong, and your government will keep you. Now, the good news is... Is we're doubling all Social Security benefits, but rescheduling retirement to age 95, except for high-ranking federal employees who may retire at age 40. We're going to put your tax dollars right to work when we pave over all those unused national park lands and wildlife refuges and make room. Michael, for what, what are you doing? What I should have done three weeks ago. the money or the time it's just that we all worked so hard and made something really good to prove to the system no mike why don't we go for a ride my car's gone my bike sold none of my dreams are going anywhere come on i'll drive he tried his best wish he didn't feel so bad I wanted tonight to be perfect for her. This could have been a good break. I hope I can cheer him up. So send in those cards and letters to the Oval Office because I care about what you think. And always remember, trust me. We now return you to our program, In Progress.
feel better? Yeah, I, I was going to ask you that. <laughs> I feel great. You know, it doesn't really matter if anyone saw the show. Look at all the fun we had. Yeah, I, I guess that's the way I feel about it, too. And if it weren't for the show, I never would have met you. You know, I never had a chance to really thank you for all the help you gave us. You're thanking me? You gave me a starring role. I had a wonderful time, and I'll never forget it. Never. And I have a gift for you. What? Don't move. Stay right there. Right on your mark. That's right. Uh, no, no. Close your eyes. Don't peek. <laughs> Good. Is something burning? Us. copy of the script. a movie all the way through. Let's like do it for one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, you can see it. Charming. Charming. That's exactly the word. Really. You know, you know, know, I'm going to call my parents and call them to go. On a special effect. Everybody. A special effect. I want to tell you, you're not kidding. It's really refreshing these days to see a movie like that. It really is. You know, it was clever, charming, and refreshing. Hey, family. How about those people in the planet suit? Did you recognize the guy from uh, Miami? What's oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Was 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 everybody was so good. good. Everybody was so good. You know, I think we should like stay and watch it again. Yeah, yeah, let's stay and watch it again. Uh, I, I'm sorry, you, you, we got to clear the theater here. We got a big oh, no. long line. Oh, Mr. Usher, just stay and watch it with us. That's popcorn. Can I have one? Yeah, no, watch the Look, there's the guy that played the heavy. Oh, yeah. I remember him. He was funny. Look at that number. Oh, they're all throwing stuff at him like they hate him. They're like a family. That's it. It's like a family. Magic. Speed time. Everything. I love lots of love. Oh, there he goes. I am so He's a great drunk, too. Oh, oh, I and the wizard guy, he was really good. I'm really going to have to ask you people to clear the theater. We've got another audience up there. We're still watching the credits, Mr. Usher. Almost. This is my favorite part. Hey, what's going on? It's not over yet. Look at those on his face. I've been waiting all whole film to see this. They're going to go for the clinch. This is it. Look at him, just like you. He's got his hand up. It's just like you and me. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh,
Before Pee Wee Herman, there was the Wizard of Speed and Time. An eccentric genius who created a motion picture legend in his own garage. Based upon the true life adventures of the world's most unknown filmmaker and blown up out of all proportion, this is the classic story of the little guy. Going up against the system, fighting corrupt and evil movie producers, overcoming unbelievable and ridiculous odds, all to win the heart of the girl he loves, and maybe the rest of her as well. Made on the same film stock as Roger Rabbit and Star Wars, filmed around the world in a special process that is technically unexplainable. You'll see electrifying special effects, laugh at mind-numbingly stupid jokes, and gasp in awe that we actually got big-name stars to be in this. You'll see dancing, romancing, financing, fencing, crowd scenes, chase scenes. This is the motion picture with everything. It's even got the kitchen sink. It's the kind of movie you would make if you didn't have anything better to do. Five years in the making, five days in the theaters. So see it while you can and tell your friends, you've got to be off to see The Wizard. Speeding to a theater near you. Maybe even this one.